Okay, students, this week we are still working on the same I can statement that we worked on before. I can mentally find 10 more and 10 less to a two digit number. And I know you remember the little um, cross shaped things I'd made in the classroom. If you move up the number line, you're going 10 less. So 32, 10 less is 22. If you add 10, it would be 42. Side to side, you're subtracting one. So we're going up and down. That's what we need to do this week of a two digit number. So you need to practice this with the two digit numbers on the hundreds chart. So let's practice it together. So here's your backwards 120 chart. And I did this um, on, well, don't because it's 119 because we start at zero, sorry. Um, I purposely chose the bottom up hundreds chart, 119 chart, so that you would have to reverse this because you may, you might see this in your envision lessons this week. So if um, we go to a two digit number, we'll just start off with 21. You would need to mentally find 10 more. So on the, the, the one that goes from the bottom up, you would have to go up one to get 10 more. 21 plus 10 is 31. And you can see the patterns. Look how the numbers, look at the ones. We talked about the patterns on the chart. Okay, if you subtract 10 on the bottom up chart, you go down this time. 21 minus 10 is 11. You're taking a 10 away from the tens place. So this is the tens place. This is the ones place with our place value facts we've learned. When you subtract a 10, you take it away. Okay, that is going to now go into our next lesson for our next standard or I can statement this week, which is I can add within 100 using models, drawings, and other strategies, and explain my strategy. We've been doing some of this in our daily number talks. So let's start with the Unifix cubes. And I know you're not gonna have these at home. So I have them here. I stopped and got some out of the classroom. We're gonna model this one, 20 plus 14. 10 plus 10 is 20, and notice they're the same exact height. Plus, that's a 10. And then to make a 14, you have to do a 10, because the, the one in the tens place means one 10. And the four in the ones place means four ones. One, two, three, four. So this week, I can add within 100 using models, drawings, and other strategies and explain my strategy. So if I added this together, I would count by tens, 10, 20, 30. And then I would have to count by ones, 31, 32, 33, 34. That's using a model to add. Now, if we did a drawing, um, let me see, where my little marker board is. Okay. If you guys did a drawing, um, you could draw the 10 sticks like we used to do, the 10 rods in the classroom, just make them tall and skinny, and then the ones would look like that. So you can use that as your drawing. Um, the only other strategy that would be helpful in this would be the 120 chart, or in this case, the 119 bottom-up chart. Erase this. Okay, so let's add this using this. This is a strategy. So using the chart 20, we're going to start with 20. Here's 20. Plus 10 more, and we just talked about this. If you add 10 more on a bottom-up chart, you go up just one row. Here's 10 more, which makes 30. But we're not finished. We still have these ones. One, two, three, four. So we're at 30. This time we go 
um, horizontally and add four more. Here's one, two, three, four. And our answer or sum is 34. And we got the same answer when we use the model. Parents at home, I know you don't have these resources. You can use um, Cheerios or anything else that you have at the house that you can count by ones and that is small. Um, students can also draw these. They know how to draw them. We've done it in the classroom. They don't need to spend the time drawing the little individual lines on the rods, but they can draw a tall skinny rod and a little square to represent a one. So that's this week's standards in math that you will be learning in your Envision lessons online and videos. Good luck.